Hi, we are going to now go through Heron's formula. Uh, we'll start with the proof of it. There are various proofs online. Uh, it was first proved by Heron in the first century, but it's thought that Archimedes actually proved it first. It just wasn't, uh, I don't know, recorded in history, I suppose. Um, so uh, we have a triangle with three sides, namely A, B, and C. And we have something called the semi-perimeter, which is S which is A plus B plus C over 2. Um, after the proof, we'll do a few examples as well. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we'll drop a height here, and we'll give this a length, and the common variable choice is X, and we'll make this B minus X. Now we know that area is equal to half the base times the height, the base being B in this case, the height being A. The goal is to use this formula along with that substitution to get rid of the H and be able to express the area strictly in terms of the side lengths or the semi-perimeter, which is itself in terms of the side lengths. So we progress. We're going to make over here now, this is a right triangle on both sides. We'll do Pythagorean. That's x squared plus h squared equals a squared. And over here, we'll get b minus x squared plus h squared equals c squared. Taking the top equation, we'll subtract the bottom equation to eliminate the h's. The goal right now is to get x in terms of a, b, and c, and then use that to get h in the same manner. So x squared minus this is minus b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. And then the other side will be a squared minus c squared. Uh, then you'll distribute the negative sign. x squared minus b squared plus 2bx minus x squared equals a squared minus c squared. The x squareds will now cancel. Uh, we'll also at the same time move the b squared over. So we will get 2bx equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared, and then proceed to divide by 2b. OK, now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and come back to this uh, Pythagorean theorem here. And it says x squared plus h squared equals a squared. We're going to move the x squared over so that we can solve for h and currently h squared, a squared minus x squared. All right, you might look at this and you should think, oh, difference of squares, so we can apply that now. h squared will then equal a plus x, a minus x. Okay, then we will go ahead and substitute for x this expression that we found in the first part of our journey. h squared equals a plus a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2b, and a minus a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2b. OK, progressing on, we need common denominators. So we're going to multiply this by 2b. It's going to become a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus c squared over 2b. Over here, you're going to get. 2ab minus a squared minus b squared plus c squared over 2b. Looking at the left side, we should get the idea that this is a perfect square trinomial. So we should probably factor it. We're going to get a plus b squared minus c squared over 2b. And we should suspect the same thing can happen over here. It's just going to require us to put the c squared in front. So we'll have c squared and we'll have minus. If you take the minus out of both of these, it will apply to this. It will become a minus b squared over 2b. OK, then we're going to go ahead and use difference of squares again. So it's going to be a plus b minus c times a plus b plus c, still over 2b. And then we're going to have over here c minus a minus b, and then c plus a minus b over 2b as well. OK, using the semi-perimeter now, um, 
first we can multiply this all together. We're going to get uh, a plus b minus c times a plus b plus c times c minus a plus b times c plus a minus b all over 4b squared. Okay, we're going to need some board space. Okay, then continuing on, uh, if we use the s equals a plus b plus c over 2, then 2s will equal a plus b plus c. Um, we have a plus b minus c here, so I can take this and subtract 2c from it on both sides to create that a plus b minus c equals 2s minus 2c. I can replace this with that. We will now have that it's equal to 2s minus 2c times. We can do the same thing here. Um, this will be 2s itself, because 2s equals a plus b plus c. On this one, we can have c plus b minus a. So if I take the c plus b minus a, up here we have c plus b plus a, still equal to 2s. We can go ahead and do the same thing and subtract 2a that we did up top with the 2c. This will give 2s minus 2a. And the last one, it will be 2s minus 2b in the same manner, all over 4b squared. So h squared equals this. We can then factor out a 2 from all of these expressions and cancel it with the 4. So h squared will equal, or we can use square root at the same time, h will equal the square root of 2, 4, uh, there's, yeah, 16, 2, 4, 8, 16 over 4 is going to give us 4 times s minus c times s, we'll put the s in front, times s minus a times s minus b, the 16 over 4 canceled, so this will be b squared. Okay, that's going to give us h equals 2 on the outside over b times the square root of s times s minus c, s minus a, and s minus b. We will then come back to our area formula, where area is half b times the height, and our area will now equal one half times the base times the expression for h that we just found, which is 2 over b square root of s times s minus c, s minus a, s minus b. Uh, the half and the 2 will cancel, the b's will cancel, and there is Heron's formula. In a second, we'll be right back and do some examples. Okay, and now for the examples. Um, Heron's formula can be applied anytime you have all three sides and you need the area. So um, we'll just make some random ones here. Four, five, and six. Let's say these are your side lengths. Um, add them up. 10, 15. S is going to equal half of that. 15 over 2. Make your area formula. You have S here. You put S in. You'll now multiply this times all the differences. Do not ask yourself which one's A, B, or C. It's completely irrelevant. Just do all the subtractions that are possible. So make these something over 2 in your mind to go a little faster. 8 over 2 subtracted from 15 is 7 over 2. This will be 10 over 2 giving 5 over 2 and 3 over 2. All four twos make 16. Square rooted is going to equal 4. Uh, the last part, try to combine things that are going to pop out you know, their square root. So there's a 15 here and a 3 and 5 here. Make this 15 and 15, and you'll get 15 on the outside times root 7. 
Okay, we'll switch it up and do a famous triangle in competition math, a 13, 14, 15. Now, this triangle you don't need to use Heron's formula for. Um, so if you use a different method or you know the other method, that's fine. Um, you'll see it come up in competition math from time to time. So we add this up. This is like all 14. So it's 3 times 14 is 42. Um, that's your, your uh, perimeter. Cut that in half to get your semi-perimeter, which is 21. So then the area will equal 21 and subtract all the differences. So if this is 6, this will be 7 and 8. So we have 6, 7, and 8. Again, I've got a 21 here. I can see 42 there. If I split the 8 into 4 times 2, the 2 and the 21 are now 42. This is also 42. We get a 42 on the outside. The 4 becomes a 2. 2 times 42, the area, would be 84. Again, this is not the fastest way for a 13, 14, 15 triangle. Stay tuned for more examples. Okay, so demonstrating its versatility, it can even be used when the sides are not integers. So again, anytime you need the area for some reason, and you only know the side lengths, this is the tool that you would use. Why would you need the area? Maybe if you got it, you could find the in radius using a formula like area equals in radius times semi-perimeter. So we'll find S again. This is 13 and 9 is 22 root 2 divided by 2 is 11 root 2. So you know that S is 11 root 2. Square root of 11 root 2 times, subtract all of them, 5 root 2, 4 root 2, 2 root 2. All the root 2s, this is a 2 and this is a 2, they're going to pop out a 2. Then we'll see the rest of it. We've got uh, a 4 here. That's going to give us another 2, but the rest of them aren't going to be able to bring anything to the outside. So 2 times 5 is 10 times 11 is 110. And you get stuck with the square root of 110 to get 4 radical 110. Um, we'll do one more example. 3, 4, 6. So again, you find S, it's 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 over 2 is your semi-perimeter. The square root of S times all the differences. Again, turn these into something over 2. So this is 6 over 2. When you subtract, you get 7 over 2. 8 over 2, subtract to get 5 over 2. Make this 12 over 2, and you'll get 1 half then the denominator has 16. That's going to give you a 4. The numerator has nothing that's going to play well with the others. They're all primes. So we get uh, 91 times 5 is the square root of 455. All right. Uh, these examples, by the way, were pulled from AOPS Introduction to Geometry. Um, I highly recommend the book if you've never gone through it. Good luck, and if you like the video, please subscribe.